Good morning, Paris. Today is probably one of our last days of shopping before we do some like official sightseeing. We are heading to Champs de Lys, one of the most famous shopping streets in Paris. I got off at the Metro Franklin, and once you come out of the exit, it is Champs de Lys. Right in the center is going to be Arc de Triomphe, so we're going to have a look at that. And there's shops lining the streets around the Arc de Triomphe. Let's go check them out. Oh my god, the Marriott right on Chambouis. There's like even Sephora, and I love this. It's Guerlain. I've never seen an actual shop for it. It looks so beautiful inside. Why is this the most beautiful beauty shops in the streets? There's like a little iridescent orange. Ooh, we didn't see these ones at the other Chanel store. Got a couple of these donuts and dolls. This one we saw, I think it's quite cute. Ooh, these are actually quite cute. Got the crystals on the edge. Full satin heel there. Oh, these are actually quite modern. Oh, and the price actually is not too bad compared to all the other Chanel models now. These. Oh wow, even Chanel jumped into the full crystal. Wow, even the backside. 4,200 euros. Wow, that's gorgeous. This is the medium Chanel 22 in black. Pretty casual, actually. This is the wallet on chain and it's shortened on both sides. I think this is great for like a travel bag, but it is quite long, so it's like shortened inside there. You see that? Which one do you like better? I love these Fendi's. They kind of reminds me of like the Arons, but like the Fendi versions, and I'm not hating, I really like them. There's two locations on the Galleries Lafayette. One is the one in Champs de Lys, and the other one is in Houston. Classic Mona Lisa souvenirs. Oh, they even have a Mona Lisa Monopoly. Classic. Look at this candle. Amazing. Just the architecture and how they built this entire area is gorgeous. See by Chloe bag. So there's gonna be like luxury, contemporary everything in between here and even coming up the stairs beautiful there's gonna be shoes bags clothes fragrances and beauty and it's sale time look at the glasses this is belay wow look at these this is just so intense. Love it. 
I know these are a little bit old lady, but I have actually always loved the Chanel glasses or sunglasses, the ones that come with like a Chanel chain. I find them so useful. What do you think? Look at these cheese shocks. They're like Adama Pigways. I kind of like the rose gold one in the back. 600 euros. Oh, these ones with the plastic strap are not bad. And the shoes. Paris, Texas. If I was ever to get cowboy boots, I would love it from this brand. But I didn't know their heels were this cute as well. But look at these sparkly cowboy boots. Oh my god. Love it. There's so many, but these are all sales. Oh wow. Look at this. Goes like rooms and rooms full of shoes. Oh, I've been seeing this brand lately. This was like that pair of boots I tried on my last video where the salesperson told me Kylie Jenner owned the same. I didn't actually know about the brand until this trip. I don't know if I should feel disappointed about that or not. Um, but it does seem like it comes out with pretty cool shoes and they're not super expensive, relatively speaking, like 300 euros. Right now they're 40% off here, so that's not bad at all. I'm loving this color, Wandler, 4.95 with 30% off. I love the satin green, so pretty. This section is the deepest discounts. I see a little sign that says 70% off. We just saw these ones at BHV. I think Gallery Lafayette and BHV have some type of partnership. Their discounts and their codes are very similar. So you see, oh my gosh, they're all 70% off. Really fun. Kind of cute, the little charm there. This is so bright. This is Paris, Texas, but it's a little bit too green for me. I have actually zero space in my luggage, so I can't get anything, but these ones are my size. At 36, oh gosh, 450, 70% off, and look at those crystals, it's really cute. Ooh, these Jack Moose are really cute. I actually think these are really easy to wear. And these thick strap mules are so in right now. I see girls around Paris just wearing these. And I think if you don't pick a really high heel one for the mules, it won't be really uncomfortable and you can kind of wear them all night out as well. And we kind of have to look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so funky. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Can almost kind of picturing milk and cows with this these are off-white this is such a cute puffy meal and look at this heel it's like a metal tool i feel like i assembled ikea cabinets with that and i really really love these these are like the puffy sandals but these have japanese vibes these are isabel morant's and i think i'm definitely going to give these a try they are my size look at the pricing Back at home, I never have anything on sale on my size because I don't know. But here, for some reason, there's so many 36s, which is my size. This is so pretty. Another off white creation by Virgil Abloh. And oh my god, look at the heel 70% off. Am I freaking out? Yes, yes, I am. These are my size too. Isabel Morant. 
classic boot from Islam Moran suede. This suede is actually so hard to take care of in my opinion. They always like get scuffs super easily. 70% off. I remember I saw these shoes a couple years ago in Paris when they first launched. And they have like so many different styles. And I used to think they were really cool, but they are like maybe a little too like conceptual for some people. And for the last year or so, I've been seeing them all around for sale. But I do think they're cool, but I wouldn't get them for 70 off, to be honest. Still, it's still like $500. I would get it for like, you know, like, I don't know, maybe higher, but it's like a fun thing, but I, you know, it's hard to wear over and over again. Here are the shoes. They feel so comfortable. What do you guys think? Do you like them? I think I love them. It looks so easy to wear, and I love that they're black, actually. They like mold to my feet. Look how pretty these are. Here are another pair of Isabel Morant's, also 36 my size, 70% off, but they're a little less unique, but it is full leather, which they're so comfortable. These are like way easier to walk in. I've always had a really, really soft spot for campers. I own one style that looks very, very close to this that's still like classic from a few years ago and I've worn it like everywhere and it has like a little wedge. It's super comfortable. I'd love to get another pair one day. I do love this like big fat bum type. Melissa and Jean-Paul Gaultier. Wow, look at this. I've never seen anything like this. Entire like jelly structure. It's super cool actually. Okay, this brand has the coolest earrings. Do you see that top right one in the screen here? The face. It's like a little eyes and it's a whole earring. So cool. Oh. Wow, this ear cuff looks so good and I love how secure it looks with that snapping mechanism. So many local <laughs> jewelers here and some global international ones, but they're all very cool. Small brands that you perhaps have not heard of, but the jewelry is just absolutely stunning. Oh wow, I love that cross. Actually, massive. It's like 10 centimeters in the length. Loads of brands here. A couple floors. Oh my god, these Fendi puffy slides are hilarious. It's full plastic. I'd rather have the Isabel Moran ones. What about you guys? I'm loving Fendi though. I think they're doing a really amazing job and I still love their classic baguettes. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I should never see this colorway and I love how they have like different straps dress it up. I've tried on this one ages ago. See still a classic mini little bucket bag. Oh my god, it's like the Fendi first. But it's like a mini bag. Also like a charm. Oh, look at that. Cute. All the designer shoes. Look at that Amina Mahdi shoe right on the left there. Huge. Hello. Still going strong. Wow. Wow, ski. Look at these. Crazy. These actually look very comfort based. I think it's like the thick heel and it helps that it's like a plushy. 
I love this version of the crystals. I haven't heard of this brand either. It's Noda Lito. I like the shape of the heels. More Isabel Marant sandals. These are really cute too. I can feel like you can walk way easier in these compared to the ones I was trying downstairs. And they're also on sale. 30-40% off. I love how these Versace shoes really like embrace all the toes. And you don't have to like compromise with your pinky toe sticking out. It's kind of a really fun shape and design. Ooh, I'm liking these. They're Mac and Mac. Well, this one's just a little bit different than like the bow version that everybody has. And these new versions are now on sale too. I think this one's quite different too. I kind of like the hearts. I know some people call this ugly, but I call this like super fun. JW Anderson. And these are super fun too. I love the denim and I love that puffy. Oh, it's kind of similar to the Isabel Marant sandals. This like baby purple was literally the color of the season last season. I do love the iridescent crystals. It is now 30% off. 8.50 euros. This would be such a fabulous shoe if you had like a matching dress in this color. Can you imagine? Oh my god, I love these butterflies. They're so pretty. Akuzuras, they do such amazing designs. And I'm serious when I say they have one of the most comfortable heels that I own is from Akuzuras. And they're the exact same height and they're also like strappy and tied like this. Ooh, these are also tempting. They're 50% off. Look at this. Some Chanel boots. This metallic look. When in Paris, you have to look at Chanel. I actually kind of like these ones. They're really classic, and the leather is so soft. Oh my god, I love these dance sandals and this denim. They have the lighter one. I kind of love the darker one. What do you guys think? These are Barbies. These are the cutest schnee boots ever. This is the one in beige. This one is half a size bigger. This is 36 and a half. And this is 36. I think the 36 in this style is almost a little bit too tight for me. Like it fits, but the leather is less comfortable right over here. But the 36 and a half feels like perfect. These are 36 in the dad sandals. And I think these ones fit me perfectly though. It's so cute. The little pink Barbie look with the tweed. How cute are these? Next to my like beat up Converse. So cute. Oh my god, look at this conveyor belt. It's a conveyor belt of designer shoes. I love this idea. This is so pretty. Here's how it looks on the other side. Look at this Jack Moose Raffia interpretation. It's hairy. Strong with the ugly sandals, I mean, ugly sneakers from Balenciaga. If anything, I like the colorful, either like super colorful or it has to be like super neutral. That's like what I think is like leaning. 
fashion was a trend these days? Super neutral or super colorful? Ooh, I have these. They're still here. They're actually so heavy and I almost regret getting them because they're um, so uncomfortably heavy. You can't like walk anywhere without getting tired. It's like a two pound weight on your foot. I guess you can like build your calf muscles, get a workout in just for like a walk around the mall. Cheese. It's off white. Oh, I have it at the boots too. It's almost like a perfect way to hold the shoe. Look how beautiful this looks. Let me give you a slight pan. How gorgeous, right? We're on the top floor right now. The architecture here is beautiful. Both of the Gallery Lafayette's are amazing in Paris. So definitely check out both of them. They have different vibes for each. I love the Chanel shoes. After trying the Chanel, I remember why I'm trying to always save money for classics. Even the Isabel Morant sandals are so tempting. I love the dad sandals. The pink tweed was so beautiful. I kind of want just like a plain black pair, like always, you know, go for the classics first before branching out. But I don't know. They like were really, really comfortable. And I love the black Chanel boots. They didn't have my size. They just had like a 36 and 37. I think for the boots, I'm a true 36.5. And the sandals, I fit a 36 but absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna have a little more walk around in here. It's super hot outside, so I'm kind of like, you know, taking my time before going back outside to like the humidity. Um, and then we're gonna keep going. Oh, look at this Jack Moose. Love the acrylic ball on it, so cute. What do you guys think? Look at these hats. They have like a Parisian hat brown that are like 600 euros and now they're 40 percent off i am in love with this ostrich how pretty i try not to go to zara but they always have slightly different stuff all around the world and it's kind of fun going someplace you're familiar with just for like a couple of seconds Oh wow, this is one of the most popular macarons. It's Pierre Hermes. And it's like a side shop with La Cantine. And it's also a restaurant. That's so cool. The concept is so nice in here. This is the Arc of Triumph. This is one of the areas, the roundabout, where Paris has the most accidents. Can you believe it? I totally can. This is Dior and the lineup. I just walked into the Montclair shop and it is a flagship store and they took me on a whole tour and I think by like the first two minutes they realized I wasn't getting anything but the guy was just so nice and I learned that you can actually custom your own Montclair jacket. I never, never knew that you could do that. And if you ever get a chance and you love Montclair, this is the biggest store. It's a flagship and also the biggest store in the entire world. So it's amazing. Wow, this Louis Vuitton is huge. And I do want to go in, but the lineup 
Oof. What a beautiful day to be walking along Champelis. so iconic in Paris and definitely it's less expensive than buying it in North America too so if you just want some gift or some bag that's not super expensive and super easy to pack away and travel with this is such a good store to buy your souvenirs from I've been a huge fan of this one lately I love how it expands. Paris Lottery. Super, super popular macaron place, and they have ice cream and other pastries. These gates are so pretty. I love the black and the gold. It's a bookshop and a restaurant. And here is the street of all the luxuries. There's Gucci here, there's Hermes, Jack Moose. There's a whole lineup for Jack Moose, but what's the coolest thing is they have a little squeezy lemon window display. It's massive. Wow, look at this jacket from Doce. What do you guys think of this? Almost looks like Tory Burch, but no, it's very expensive. It is Paco Rabanne. So excited to have taken you along with me shopping in one of Paris's most iconic streets. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed all the luxury bits we got to see today. There are so many. I can't even name my favorite right now. I think I really, really love the Chanel dad sandals if I think about it and the Chanel boots. They were just so amazing. The black ones. Oh, well. Please subscribe if you haven't already liked this video and I will see you again in the next one. Bonsoir!